Hey guys, Kara here, health fitness instructor at NIFS. I want to give a really big shout out to my very own Slimit team, no judgment. You guys have been killing it for the first two weeks. Your effort level has been awesome, your attendance level, it's been so awesome working with you guys already. So I wanted to give you guys a quick fitness tip with a jump rope. When was the last time you guys used a jump rope with your workouts? It's okay, I can't hear your answer but I'm gonna give you guys a few reasons why the jump rope is one of my favorite pieces of cardio equipment. So after a little bit of research, I found that jump roping for 10 minutes, that's right, 10 minutes, is equivalent to about running for 30. So let's think about that for a second. So if I can get my cardio in, in 10 minutes, instead of running for 30, why not try that? So this is, a, this is portable, it's inexpensive, and it uses very little space. So to start with, um, there's two different types of jump ropes. We have a beaded jump rope, and then I also have with me a speed jump rope. So the beaded jump rope is gonna be a little bit slower. Uh, you might build some more strength because it's gonna feel heavier. But this rope, um, it's kind of a, a plastic um, kind of cord here. This is gonna, you're gonna get more revolutions per minute for this and more speed. Therefore your legs are moving faster, etc. So, to start with, you can grab the rope. We have plenty of them here at NIFS, or you can buy your own for really cheap. You step into it. Generally, you want to have it underneath your arms. The better you get, the more precision you have, then you can start to shorten your rope. But, you can always start with the longer rope. To start with, the most common is that two-footed jump, okay? So, oftentimes, there's that double bounce in between, and that's okay. The better you get, you can take that double bounce out and jump with two feet. Make sure you're landing softly. And again, you don't have to be jumping very high. My knees are always bent. They're never locked out. From here, progression would be to jump forward and backward. And you can also do side to side. Then from there, start to add in some single leg stuff where you switch your weight over onto one foot and do some single leg stuff. A progression with this one is my favorite called the speed. And I'm gonna stop for a second so you guys can see how this starts. The speed, the jump rope goes under each foot every time by itself. So under one foot, under the other foot. And it's like you're running. This is my favorite. Then the very last progression, it's pretty tough. But if you've got it, here it is. The double under. The rope goes under my feet two times every time. As you can see, I'm a little out of breath already. But have fun with it. Share this fitness tip with everybody, anybody you know. And let me know how it works out for you. Thanks.